हेलो वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल गेन जावा नॉलेज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज स्वेगर इन स्प्रिंग बूट एप्लीकेशन एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फॉर आवर रेस्ट ए पी आई सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू नो वट इज स्वेगर एंड वाई वी नीड टू यूज द स्वेगर तो ओके लेट्स बिगन विद वाई वी नीड स्वेगर बिकॉज इन टू डेज इंडस्ट्रीज सॉफ्टवेयर इंडस्ट्री ग्रेट कोड इज क्रूशियल फॉर द मॉडर्न बिजनेस एंड द बेस्ट वे फॉर अस टू कनेक्ट एंड शेयर डाटा थ्रू द ए पी आईज बट देयर हैज बीन नो इंडस्ट्री स्टैंडर्ड फॉर डॉक्यूमेंटिंग द ए पी आईज ए पी आईज आर स्पोर्ट्स टू कनेक्ट इंजीनियर एंड एलो फॉर द शेयरिंग ऑफ ग्रेट डेवलपमेंट्स बट एन ए पी आई इज ओनली वैल्यूएबल इफ इट इज एक्सेसिबल एंड फॉर दैट इट नीड्स क्लियर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो इट इज़ वेरी टेरिबल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज जस्ट एज ए यूजलेस एज ए क्लोक दैट टेल्स द रोंग टाइम सो डेवलपर हैव वर्क हार्ड टू फाइंड ए वे टू स्टैंडर्डाइज द वोकेबुलरी सराउंडिंग ए पी आईज सो दैट्स वाई स्वेगर कम्स इन द पिक्चर एंड स्वेगर इज बेसिकली ए सेट ऑफ रूल्स एंड टूलिंग फॉर हाउ टू सीमेंटिकली डिस्क्राइब द ए पी आईज एंड इट इज़ ए लैंग्वेज एग्नोस्टिक टूल दैट गेट्स एवरी वन ऑन द सेम पेज एंड वट इज स्वेगर Swagger is a framework for describing your API using a common language that everyone can understand and the swagger is mainly used for to generate document for our all the rest endpoints available in our application and if we have created multiple microservices in our project then it is not easy to remember all the endpoints url so that's why swagger api help us to provide the end point url and swagger provides more benefit than just helping create clear documentation it also provide comprehensible for developers and non developers means product manager partner and even potential client can have input into the design of your api because they can see it clearly mapped out in this friendly ui and it is a human readable and also machine readable and third it is easy adjustable and this makes it great for testing and debugging problem so we no need to go for postman we can directly test our api from swagger ui okay let's see in the code how to implement swagger so first i have created one project here here i have created one application here it is the main class of spring boot so here i will create one more new package new package that is the controller controller and one more new package that is service and for one new package for to store model classes refresh it here i will create new class that will be user controller and here i will use annotation at the rate rest controller and here i will create rest endpoints first i will create for to store the user add user for this i need to create one class that is user in our model package new class user finish here i will use lambda annotation that is data so no need to generate getter and setter for any field private long id private long age or we can use integer also 
integer age private string name of the user now i will go to my controller and here i will use at the rate request body annotation and here i will pass user now i will create one more class service at service layer user service that will be used to store the user here i will use annotation that is at the rate service so i cannot avoid this class in my controller after that go to controller here we'll inject the service class here so i will use at the rate auto void to inject the service class into my controller here i will call service dot add user and pass the user object here now i need to create one method and it will return the same user object in the response create method add user in service layer and here i will create one map that will store all the user list here i will user map dot put id plus plus and value will be the user object and it will add into the map <coughs> and return the user now go to controller and save it and here i will use at the rate post mapping now i will create one more end point rest end point to get the list of users and one for to delete the user so here i will use delete mapping and here i will pass a user id to delete the user add the rate path variable and it is the id and here i will call delete user and here i will pass the user id and now it's saying to create the method in service class here i will get the user id and user map dot remove here i will pass user id and it will return the same object now i will go to controller again now i will create one more end point to get the list of users get users and here i will no need to pass any parameter here i will write get users
and now we will create one more method here i will return list of user <coughs> get user create method get users here i will create one list of user object here i will go to user map and get entry set from this then i will iterate here one user will come here i will add users dot add user dot get value from the map here i will return the list of users now i will go to my controller save it now it's now at root level i will map this url by using at the rate request mapping annotation api user and this and this endpoint is for to save the user and this endpoint will get the list of users and this endpoint will be used for to delete the users now <coughs> now we need to write the configuration then how swagger will know to generate the documentation for these rest endpoints now i will create one more package new class swagger configuration I will create one more package for this. That is config. Refresh it. Add this class in this package. In Swagger configuration, I need to add add the red configuration annotation of Spring. and to enable the swagger we need to add one annotation that is at the rate enable swagger to annotation but this is not showing here so first we need to add the dependency of swagger in our pom.xml i have just copied this dependency and now i will paste this dependency in our pom.xml here i will paste it these are the swagger dependencies this two dependency we need to add so spring fox swagger to spring fox swagger ui now i will go to my controller uh, here i will go to my configuration class and enable swagger to now it's added now i just need to write the configuration here it is the configuration i have already writ written and i have pasted same here first i have created the bean and returning the docket class object docket is the one class which is provided by spring framework to inform the swagger that we want the documentation from swagger to and here i have created the docket object and here i have defined documentation type will be swagger to and group name we can define any type of name and here that is the api info object that will return all the information regarding our documentation and here we can restrict the path of rest api by defining here root url and this is the method dot apis request handler selector dot base package will restrict the documentation by defining package name and after that it will build and this information will be shown in our swagger ui that is the title and description that we want to write terms of services url here i have defined my video url 
and it is a license and license URL same I have pasted here and it is a version that we can define for our swagger documentation okay now I will run this application here it's showing some exception so I need to change here mm, get mapping because here we are getting the list of users so here I need to use get mapping okay now I will run this application again now it's working fine and here you can see the url regarding swagger resources swagger resources and swagger ui okay let's go to the chrome here i will type swagger ui localhost 8080 swagger-ui.html and it will show the documentation in format of swagger and it is a swagger ui we can see and each method get put post and delete in swagger it is expandable by clicking you get a full description of the parameters with the automatically generated example like this you can see the response body in which format the response will come and you can test call values and see the response message here and no need to use any postman to test the API you can test directly from here now I will get the list of user so I have not added any user so it will give me empty array it is the response body now I will call to the post API to add the user here I will click on try it out then I will add the age for user and here I will add the ID and here you can define any name for the user now I will click on execute then it will show me the response it is a response body and response code 200 now I will go to get api to get the list of users and we'll execute now you will see here the response it is a list of users in the response body with 200 status code some more feature provided by the swagger ui uh, here on swagger ui if we want to show some meaningful message in front of api url like here it's printing get user and if we want to print some meaningful message then we can use annotation provided by swagger that is at the rate api operation okay i will change this message let's see in the code how to change i will go to my controller and here i will type one annotation that is at the rate api operation provided by swing swagger value is equal to add user detail so this message will be shown on the swagger ui screen get users get user like this delete user delete user detail now i will close or stop this application and run again now i will go to swagger ui and refresh this i will expand this now you can see here delete user detail add user detail and get users like this we can change here also user controller if i want to write something different then i will go to my controller here i will type at the rate api and value is equal to 
user detail user operation like this we can write anything now i will stop and rerun the application and now go to swagger ui and refresh this here you can see the user controller user operations for this i need to add one more parameter inside add the rate api that is description and in description i will write the message that will show here and like this swagger provide one more and more annotations that is add the rate api that we have already used to mark a class as swagger resource and add the rate api model that we can use in our model class that was user and add the rate api model property that we can use on my fields that was my id name and age and like this add the rate api operation that we have used and add the rate api response describe a possible response of an operation and add the rate api responses a wrapper to allow a list of multiple api response objects and we can use all the api annotations provided by swagger to represent the word documentation okay thanks